up to here. Drink a good eel of it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it, now all together a cheer. Hey everybody, once again it's Mark, your one-take beer reviewer, the guy at Beeronaut.com, and I am going to do a couple of quick beer reviews here because I have three from the same brewer that I don't want to take in all at once and I'm not sure I have enough space on my iPad from what I'm looking at here. So anyway, uh, first off, the, because it's Halloween, I have my assistant Ratty here to uh, oversee things and I have I had to buy a new Macintosh, uh, Mac Mini, after I dumped a bunch of, accidentally dumped a bunch of uh, instant coffee on my MacBook. Hopefully I am retrieving my movie production files and trying to pull back some from that the ones that I had backed up to CD already, so we'll see how this goes. Anyway, uh, this is from SLO Brewing. It's a uh, brewery in San Luis Obispo, California. Started in 1988 and they're just now reaching national distribution. And they have a series called Cali Squeeze. Uh, this is a, a series of Hefeweizens that are aged on fruit puree or fermented on fruit puree. So we're just going to start with this one and uh, try to go through all three on different nights and put them all together to make a, a little movie. This is the Mango Hefeweizen Cali Squeeze. So uh, we're going to suppose it's going to have mango in it. Duh. I don't know if I should have shooken this a little to get some fruit to come to the top or not. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked too well. Well, it's kicking up a pretty major head. Uh, I can't deny it's uh, the way I pour beers. Uh, this has a definite mango smell to it and it is pretty hazy so it has been sitting on top of some fruit for a while. I just keep seeing these pictures of other fruity beers that look like they were made to be made into slushies, but this is not it. It's just a little bit hazy, hazy gold and a, a big puffy, fluffy head that helps bring up the fruit flavor. That was just to try to get the head down. Definite uh, big mango taste, and I'm still catching a little bit of the esters that come from a Hefeweizen. Yes, I've actually gotten down to the beer part. And uh, yes, this has uh, plenty of mango uh, to go with it. So, uh, yeah, it's basically a fruit beer and uh, uses a, a good choice of a Hefeweizen as a base for uh, many fruit beers. So I'm just going to uh, finish this off as I go off camera and come back with another one the next day. So we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we are back with day two of my journey through the three Cali Squeeze beers of SLO Brewing Company. And yes, I've been wearing a kind of ratty t-shirt. Uh, speaking of ratty, there he is here, uh, back from his day job, posing in front of non-union construction sites. But anyway, um, I've basically been working from home this week because my supervisor came down with exposure to the COVID virus. So we were all sent home to work remotely and I had to get the COVID test. And today it turned out that I am negative. So at least that's some good news. So uh, yeah, this is a couple of t-shirts that I made up from some of my old homebrew beer labels. So anyway, let's get into this. This is number two of my series of the Cali Squeeze beers. And this is the POG beer as in passion fruit, orange, and guava. Uh, once again, uh, some fruit puree on which the uh, Hefeweizen base has been aged. And yes, there's a nice uh, rich fruity smell to this. That is for gosh darn sure. And it's a straight fruit smell, not like the fruity American hops or anything like that. This is definitely from the puree of uh, tropical fruits. Uh, uh, if you're saying there's guava, orange, and passion fruit in there, then I'll say, okay. But uh, I managed to get a little less of a pour. Same color, maybe just a little deeper uh, golden haze than the last one. I managed to pour a little less of a foam on this, but uh, we're going to try to top it off here. So 
So yes, another big uh, tropical fruit juice smell, uh, practically like one of those V8 uh, fruit cocktails. I've gotten enough into the beer to say that yeah, it's more of a uh, more like a fruit drink than a beer with fruit flavors. Uh, it's a little harder to pick out the uh, Hefeweizen base as it was on the previous beer. But uh, it's pretty likable. I mean, it's uh, if you are big on fruit, this is big on fruit. And uh, so, and I know they make other kinds of beers that I just haven't uh, seen around the area yet. So uh, we'll keep an eye out for those and we will come back tomorrow for the third of our beers. So until then, uh, crack something open, like a can of beer rather. All right, so we are at the third of our three Cali Squeeze beers from SLO Brewing of San Luis Obispo, California. And this was actually the first beer in that series. It is the Blood Orange Hefeweizen, meaning the uh, beer was fermented on a layer of uh, blood orange fruit pulp. And this one also, during the month of October, had a pink trade dress, they tell me, as a part of a Beer for Boobs promotion. I get to say that because it was a fundraiser for breast cancer research. So let's uh, just pop into this one then. Oh yes, these all come in at 5.4% alcohol by volume. Fingernails are a little sore for some reason today. Oh, there's a big uh, orange smell right off the, uh, right under the lid here. Managing to tame the pour just a little bit. But yes, a very uh, a big uh, blood, orange, blood orange smell uh, right uh, in the glass as the uh, foam is bringing it up. Again, it's more hazy and cloudy than the previous two. Uh, maybe just a little bit lighter than the uh, POG. And it's a pretty persistent uh, head, but I've seen that it will dwindle away once I give it a chance. Well, this really works best on the Hefeweizen base. It's got a nice orange uh, flavor to it. And... Um, I still don't get much of the character of the uh, Hefe to it, but I still think it was a good choice as a, uh, you know, just turning the label for show purposes. It was a good choice as a base beer to do this on, and actually a very interesting um, collection of fruits, mostly uh, tropical or citrus fruits uh, going into this. But it's a nice, uh, nice um, orange juice, uh, blood orange juice flavor to it. And they say they actually came up with this to compete with all the fruit flavored uh, malto pops out there. But they uh, went around and did it on an actual beer. So anyway. These are all pretty good choices, and uh, that is the Cali Squeeze Fruit on Hefeweizen Beer from SLO Brewing of San Luis Obispo. And this is Mark, your one-take beer reviewer and the guy on Beeronaut.com, and announcing that I had another test this week and I am still free of the COVID-19 virus. So cheers. Now don't be afraid of it. Drink till you're made of it. Now all together a cheer. Up with the sail of it. Down with a pain of it. Glorious, glorious.